morning and thank you for taking the time to celebrate and recognize Guilford County Schools graduates of the class of 2023. This class is comprised of more than 5,000 graduates. They started high school in one of the most tumultuous times in our country. And in the same year, they had to adjust to the new journey to high school. They were forced to adjust to a new reality, learning at home during the COVID-19 pandemic. This class has faced unimaginable challenges and has persevered. Our teachers, our counselors, and our school staff have worked tirelessly to be champions for our students and to help them reach this exciting milestone. I am grateful for their work and I'm so proud of the outstanding progress of our students. Today we have a group of extraordinary students and young people who are shining examples of the class of 2023. I'll introduce you to them and then I'll ask them to stand when their names are called. Isiatic Supreme Robinson from Western Guilford High. Story Hawthorne from James B. Dudley High. Brian O'Connell III from Eastern Guilford High. Madison Thompson from STEM Early College at North Carolina A&T. And Mario Ma Ma Martinez Estrada from High Point Central High. Now I'm gonna invite each student to share just a little bit about themselves, their experience here in Guilford County Schools, and more about where they are headed next. And we're gonna start with Supreme. My name is Supreme Robinson, and I graduated from Western Guilford um, High School. And I've been a part of the TDL Academy at Western Guilford since 2019. I have made it this far for my mom. Early on in my high school, I didn't make the best decisions, but my mom, who I most of the time call my OG and Mr. Silverthorne, they didn't ever give up on me. And they gave me this opportunity. I was elected homecoming king and I served on the super advisory board. Family is very important to me. My dream in life is to make sure that my family is happy. I will attend GTCC and pursue supply in their business. My name is Madison Thompson, graduating from the STEM Early College at North Carolina A&T State University. My journey with GCS began at Reedy Fork Elementary. However, I transferred to Monticello Brown Summit Elementary when I was in first grade. During elementary school, I was exposed to how students within the same school could often have great variance in what they need to reach their full potential. This is where my desire to help people began. At Brown Summit Middle School, I helped found the Box From Home Project, was a captain of an all-girls FLL team called the Golden Bricks, was a school ambassador, and received the principal's award. In high school, I got a head start on college and the opportunity helped me to think critically and compassionately while being an advocate for myself. In the fall, I will be attending North Carolina State University as a first generation college student, a Greenhouse Scholar, and a Goodnight Scholar, which will allow me to travel the world to serve under-resourced communities and create plans to address inequity in my community. I will remember bonding with my classmates during Foursquare tournaments, which always remind me to seek opportunities to connect with others. I'm grateful for people like my former principal, Dr. Kimberly Robertson, and at Brown Summit, and Mrs. King Bennett at STEM for always inspiring students to reach their full potential. My dream is to pursue my passions and inspire others to do the same. I've often felt that personal success is an accomplishment if only one is able to bring their friends and family along for the journey. When I am successful, I know that this will only be because of the community that has supported my journey. It is only right that I return this favor by contributing to the success of someone else. My name is Brian David O'Connell III, and I am graduating from Eastern Guilford High School. My academic career at GCS started and ended with my parents. They are both teachers, so academics are very important to me. This year, I had a heavy workload taking AP classes on top of fall and spring sports at a new school. 
but they both helped keep me motivated and on track. What I will remember most about GCS is going to school with my mom at Joyner Elementary and going to high school with my dad at Eastern Guilford. I will also remember the first time I played football at Eastern and winning the conference champion, the ch conference tournament in baseball with Eastern Guilford. After graduation, I will be heading to California to play baseball in the summer. In the fall, I will be attending the University of Tampa to play baseball and major in finance and accounting. My name is Mario Alexander Martinez Estrada, and I am graduating from High Point Central High School. I came to Guilford County Schools back in 2017 from El Salvador as an undocumented immigrant and was immediately welcomed by teachers and classmates at Doris Henderson New Commerce School. They equipped me with the tools I needed to be successful while adjusting to being in a new country and in a new school environment. While, it, while the transition into the American school system was difficult, people like my French teacher, Mr. David Williams, made, it, made a lasting impact on, on my life. While in high school, I served 650 community service hours, obtained multiple leadership roles like student body president, better club president. Um, I became a tennis player and represented the district at, in High Point Central at the governor's youth cabinet. I also um, completed a research project at Wake Forest University School of Medicine in blood-based biomarkers for Alzheimer's, and that's where I determined the type of career I wanted to pursue. Guilford County Schools has allowed me to make my parents proud, which is a very important part of my life, and show everyone that regardless of se race, sexuality, or immigration status, if one has one goal, one can achieve it. I believe this is a country of opportunity, and if you have a desire to do so, you can do it as well as to have your voice, regardless of power, be heard. Thanks to Guilford County Schools, I have been able to make strong bonds with the people like our superintendent, Dr. Oakley, who I now call my friend, and I am very thankful for, um, for not only caring for us, and, but also listening to my student voice and also making Guilford County Schools a better school system. And my principal, Michael Haddenbeck, who also cares for the students' opinion and the potential changes that can affect them and for being a great friend. Thank you. My dream has always been to further my education, especially in this country of opportunity, to make my parents proud and to show them that I do it for them because they couldn't do it for themselves on their time. But my opportunities were already and are limited. I could not benefit from in-state tuition or federal aid, given my immigration status. So when I began my college application process, I faced a lot of rejection and was told that I wouldn't be able to go to college. But I persisted. And with the help of Mr. Williams' advice, I will be attending Davidson College on a full ride scholarship in the fall. <laughs> Thank you. And will major in psychology and minor in neuroscience to help people in the future. Thank you. Hi, my name is Story Hawthorne, and I am graduating from James Benson Dudley High School. My journey through GCS has been an experience I wouldn't trade for. GCS has led me to meet some incredible people and friendships. I started out as a quiet and timid girl, but as time passed, I learned I had a voice and I had a story that others would need to hear. GCS helped me discover what I wanted to do after high school. I've learned that there are many opportunities for everyone, but it always comes down to one question. How bad do you want it? I knew I wanted to be a drum major in fourth grade, and I made it my goal. Every teacher and every counselor motivated me and always reminded me to keep reaching for it. GCS helped me write my story throughout the years, and I am forever thankful for all the people along the way. I remember performing under the lights on Friday nights, bringing in the band and marching as high as I can. Becoming drum major at Dudley gave me the opportunity to, to open up and a safe place to be myself. Being a part of yearbook taught me how to create a product for my community to enjoy. It taught me how to be a better writer and a photographer and, and prepare me to be a journalist. In the fall, I will attend North Carolina Central University and major in mass communications. My dream is to become a news anchor for CNN or CBS. I also dream to publish my own book and start a nonprofit profit organization for foster kids.
So to our students, as you chart your own course, I hope you will remember the lessons that you learned here, the teachers who encouraged you and helped you realize your passions, the coaches who showed you how great you could be if you put in the work, and the friends who supported you through all the ups and downs of childhood. Remember that you always have a home in Guilford County Schools. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding graduates for their remarkable achievements. As I mentioned before, these extraordinary graduates are just a small sample of GCS's outstanding seniors. This year marks the inaugural graduating class from our five signature career academies. Western High's TDL, Transportation, Distribution, and Logistics Academy, which Supreme is a part of, has taught students critical soft and technical skills that have helped more than a dozen students earn their FAA drone certification and enter the workforce earning high wages and benefits with companies like FedEx and Fastenal. Students at Kearns Academy and Northeast High have gained a wealth of knowledge in computer and information science, earning certifications that set them ahead from their peers from other districts when they're starting their careers. Also, the next generation of nurses, CNAs, pharmacists, healthcare, and biomedical professionals have gained critical skills for success while studying at the Academy at Smith. And students at Smith High's Academy for Advanced Manufacturing and Engineering will be leading the way as they innovate the technology we use today and create new products to make life even more efficient in the future. When we formed these academies and crafted our choice schools and programs, we did so by collabor collaborating with industry and business leaders to learn what skills they needed to see in their employees for current jobs and jobs that have not even yet been created. Nearly 3,000 seniors were enrolled in career and technical education or CTE programs. Students enrolled in college and career promise programs and earned more than 10,000 college credits saving them more than $808,000 in college tuition. As more companies like Toyota, Boom Supersonic, and VinFast begin to call North Carolina home, I am proud to say that our students have what it takes to be competitive and successful in the global workforce. The mission of Guilford County Schools is to create, is to graduate responsible citizens. This year, hundreds of seniors will be receiving an additional service learning diploma for their work to improve this county and our country. Our seniors have completed more than 111,000 service learning hours, and that translates to more than a $3.3 million economic impact. Now I'd like to invite the seniors with us this morning to join me up here. I am proud to announce that this year's seniors have earned $180,878,276 in scholarships and grants. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> <laughs> 